Welcome learners to the lesson 5 on special forces. We shall firstly talk of the origin of special forces, a little bit on the Indians special forces and then about the other special forces of the world. The military units which are trained to conduct special operations by specifically designed, organized, trained and equipped forces manned with selected persons using unconventional tactics, techniques and modes of employment. The point to note here is that they are specially designated, specially organized, specially trained and specially equipped and they are manned with selected person, selected very stringently and uses unconventional tactics, unconventional techniques and unconventional modes of employment. They are basically employed for specialized combat tasks which general forces cannot perform without within the acceptable levels of risk and cost. Other significant roles of the special forces is in carrying out recce, in acquisition and in combating irregular forces and their infrastructure and activities. Throughout history, of warfare. Whenever the aim was to achieve disruption by hit and run and sabotage, then SFs have played a very important role rather than the traditional conventional forces. The origin of special forces goes back to the British Army who raised the Corps of Guides in 1846. The Gurkha Scouts was also raised by the British in 1890s and the Lowell Scout Scouts in 1900. And in 1901, the Bushveld Carbiners, they are supposed to be the predecessors or the forefathers of special forces in the world. About the Indian special forces, we have the parachute regiment of the army, which was formed in 1945, before independence by the British. And after independence, in 1952, the parachute regiment was re-raised by absorbing three existing para battalions of 50th para brigade, which were the 1st Punjab regiment was designated at 1st para, 3rd Maratha Light Infantry was re-designated as the 2nd para, and the 1st Kumau was re-designated as the 3rd para battalion. However, the para special forces came in 1966 in the wake of Indo-Pakistan war. The marine commandos, the Marcos, they were raised in 1971 when the requirement was to carry out amphibious landing in Cox's Bazar, now in Bangladesh. They were formed on the lines of US Navy SEALs. The NSGs, the National Security Guards, were raised in 1984 during Operation Blue Star under MHA. And besides security of VVIPs, they also cater for counter-terrorism, anti-hijacking and anti-kidnapping. The Garur, the Air Force Commandos, were formed in 2004 on the lines of Royal Air Force Regiment of UK. Presently, all our special forces except the NSG, which is under MHA, they are part of MOD and are orbited to Arms Forces Special Forces Division or the AFSFD and functions under Integrated Defense Staff or the IDS. A little more in detail, the Para-SF, like I mentioned earlier, it formed in 1966 during the Indo-Pak War. It was originally formed as an ad hoc force and comprised of volunteers from infantry units from northern India under major mixing of the guards. This formed a nucleus of the new force and since para dropping is an integral part of commando tactics, this unit was transferred to the para regiment. Para SF, so raised in July 66, 9 para was the first SF unit. The other Para-SF battalions are 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11 and 21 and the parachute regiment which consists of the para and the para-SF battalions, 
they are the major resources of the country for conducting special operations anywhere land sea or air the nsg raised under the ministry of home affairs in the wake of operation blue star in 1984 nsg comprises a special action group or the sag which is drawn from the indian army they have the special rangers group or the srg drawn from police and central armed police forces which also handles vip security the nsg are also called as black cats because they wear black uniform black dangri and the insignia is a black cat the garur the air force commandos were raised in 2004 they protect indian air force installations from terrorist attacks they go through a very stringent training session and the total duration of training is 3 years they protects airfields and key assets in hostile environment some advanced garur units are trained like para isf and marcos to undertake missions deep behind enemy lines and during hostilities garuds undertake combat search and rescue rescue of drowned airmen other forces from behind enemy lines suppression of enemy air defense radar blasting missile and munition guidance that is lasing of targets and other missions in support of air operations the marcos were raised in 1987 they organized trained and equipped for conduct of special ops in sea air land and in maritime environment the task is to conduct clandestine attack against enemy ships offshore installations and assets behind enemy lines support amphibious operations including pre assault operations that's why they were raised in 1971 conduct unconventional warfare surveillance recce missions and even counter terrorism and hostage rescue in maritime environment thank you gentlemen we learned about the special forces of the indian army thank you very much Thank you.